And now, your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by LEH Soap Company. We're committed to hand making natural skincare products in small batches. From vegan soap to our specialty bath line. Find us at one of our five locations in Marmora, Ocean City, and Asbury Avenue, the Ocean City Boardwalk, Historic Smithville, and Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. And good late Saturday evening. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Hope you had a wonderful day today. Hope you had a wonderful night out there and hope you have some great plans for tomorrow because it looks like we're going to see another decent day before we start to see some showers pop in here later tomorrow night on into early Monday morning. Temperatures dropping back just a bit. 51 right now in Philly, 48 in Atlantic, Atlantic City, but chilly up in here upstate New York. Well, they're 32 degrees in Binghamton, 43 in, at State College. So temperatures right now for us not looking too bad now with the clear skies out there. And the winds going calm, these are going to start to drop, I think, as we head towards the morning hours. So temperatures will be back into the 30s to near 40 degrees. A little bit closer, 53 in Glassboro, 49 in Doylestown, 53 in Trenton. Head on down that 195 corridor, Asbury Park, it's 49. 49 in Tuckerton, 49 in Courthouse, and 52 as you head towards Cape May. So, again, not too bad at the moment. But again, with those clear skies, the relatively calm winds that will occur after midnight, I think, will drop down into the 30s in most places and have a chance of seeing that patchy fog develop, especially in the inland region. Future cast as we head through the rest of tonight, again, not looking at too much in the way of cloud cover, could see that patchy fog as we head through early tomorrow morning. Now we start to watch a warm front that is going to push in from the southwest, moving northeast. So I think the clouds will, will kind of hinder where our temperatures are for tomorrow. If this thing can hold off and give us some more sunshine, I think we'll have warmer temperatures. If it comes in quickly, then temperatures might not be as warm, unfortunately, with the lack of sun. But as I mentioned, the fact that you won't be have to deal with any kind of rainfall, at least until later on tomorrow night, on into Monday morning. Tonight, 35 will do it. Con relatively calm wind, chance seeing maybe some patchy fog as we head towards the morning hours. Tomorrow, that warm front continues to approach. So we'll have increasing clouds. We'll be on the seasonal side, at least inland, 67. But then, of course, with the south, the southeasterly breeze coming off the ocean, shoreline you'll be near 60 or even in the upper 50s in some places. So not the best of day at heading to the shore, but at least it's going to be dry. That's always the big key, I think, for us. Overall air pattern is not looking too bad for us as we head towards the middle of the week. Yes, we escaped one here, was one batch of colder. That's going to move on out to the north and the east. So that will allow us to moderate just a bit and bring in some warmer temperatures as we head into, as I mentioned, middle of the week. We could be talking about 70s again, which is where we want to be for this time of year. Upper 60s and your 70 degrees. Hey, it's getting, getting to May, getting close to the Mother's Day. Let's get some 70 degrees out there, right? But here we go. Rocky Mountains, Northern Plains going to push its way into the east. So unfortunately, meeting all that warm air down in the Gulf of Mexico looks like we could be dealing with some severe weather out in the Midwest and the Gulf Coast. It seems like we're talking about this every week. But then this will eventually track its way on off to the east and look what it does for us by the next Friday. 57 degrees again. Cloudy skies with that strong northwesterly breeze. But before that happens, Temperatures back into the 70s. We'll see a front push through here Wednesday on into Thursday. An exclusive Norcast plus three days for next weekend. Below normal and cloudy conditions before Monday. We start to th see things back to where they should be for this time of year. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great night.